hello friends once again welcome to my channel so in this video we will see to write control sequence for an instruction where one of the operand is in auto decrement mode in another case we will see one of the operand in auto increment mode basically we are trying to do control sequence for these two addressing modes and last videos already we have seen relative mode and all hope that part is clear so now we'll start with auto decrement so auto decrement example i have taken like this here the meaning of this instruction is we are going to perform multiply operation with the content of memory whose address is decremented value of r1 with your register content r2 and the result will be put back into r2 so this is what the instruction is supposed to do so see my data is in memory where is the address address is decremented value of r1 r1 is say having suppose 1000 but where is your data at 996 here my assumption is that each element is taking four bytes and the machine is byte addressable right so first r1 will be decremented then whatever will be the value that is my memory address that i need to give to mar then the read signal then i will wait then data will come that data i will multiply with r2 and then finally result i'll put back into r2 so let's start pc out mar in read select for add z in z out pc in y in wmfc this part already we have seen so many times mdr out ir in once the instruction is in ir we got to know we need to perform multiply but one of the operand is in memory so we need to get it another point already i told you in the previous video that y in why it is done so see by doing this we are making or we are executing our relative addressing mode instructions faster but by doing this we are not increasing time of step two we are not doing any harm to anyone rather we are going to get benefit afterwards if my addressing mode was relative so that we have seen in our last video now my instruction is in ir now we will proceed with the getting operand from memory can i give r1 to mar directly no not at all first i need to decrement r1 who will do the decrement alu will do the decrement right so we need to get the operand of r1 into one of the input of the alu then another input will come from the mark that is 4 then we will perform sub operation right decrement means subtraction we'll do that so see how i'm going to do r1 out then select 4 R1 out means data is on the bus, it is available in the B input. Then select 4. So this input has come to A input of the ALU. Done. Now I will perform sub. Result will go to Z register. Please do understand to decrement R1, you need not have to go to memory. It will be done by the ALU only. So it is Zing. Now from Zing, where the value will go? To your MAR then only the address will be given to memory because here my memory is connected as well as it will go to r1 also because r1 will see the changes right so z out i can't do z out here because r1 out is already done in that step so z out r1 in as well as mr in so address is given to the memory now what i will do read signal because i need to get the data from memory so read can i do anything more here no because two outs are not possible wmfc in the same step is not possible so step number six r2 out i will make it available in the y register done and then we will wait for data to come from memory so it is wmfc done and then once we come out of wmfc that means what data is in mdr so from mdr i need to take it to alu then only multiplication is possible so mdr out that means it is available on the b input where is your other input in y register so bring it here how select y done and then you give the signal first make the inputs available then mul means perform multiplication after doing multiplication result will be taken by z register z in because output of alu is connected only to z register from z register it can go to any place depending on the instruction 
So that is done. In this step, we can't do anything more. In the next step, from the Z register, the result is sent to R2. So Z out, R2 in, end. Because the result has to give to R2. So that part we have done in step number eight. eight. Z out, R2 in, end. Hope this part is clear. Here, see, this part you need to understand properly. Auto decrement meaning is first decrement and then use the decremented value in the MAR as well as you need to give the, date, uh, the decremented value in the same register also because the register will be changed. And then after reading, you will get the data and do the operation whatever is required to perform. So this is how we are going to do. Once again, I will tell to perform decrement, you need not have to go to memory. To get the data from memory, that time only you visit memory, right? So this is all about auto decrement addressing mode. Next example I will take for auto increment. Hope you remember, auto increment is a post operation. What does it mean? First, the register R1's content will be used as a memory pointer to get the operand and then R1 will be modified. R1 will be incremented. So what is my instruction? MUL. So it will perform multiplication with whom? With a memory operand, right? Whose address is in R1 and the content of R2 where the result will be put back into the register R2. So this part we have understood. So first part is already known to us. Already we have seen it so many times. Done. Now instruction is decoded. After that we got to know we need to get one of the operand from memory. Where is the address? In R1. So from R1 to where to I need to transfer the address? MAR. So R1 out, MAR in. That means address is given to memory. Then give the read signal. Done. This is done. And then what I will do? What I will do? In this step, uh, can I do something more? I will do whatever is possible to do, possible to do before my uh, data comes from memory. So what I will do, select four, I will increment the way I have incremented PC, right? So here I'll increment R1. So select four, here I have taken the length of my operand is four bytes, machine is byte addressable. Due to that, select four. Because R1 out means it is available on the B input. Select four means four will come here. So both the inputs are available. So what operation I'll perform? Add, then result will be given to Z register done. MAR is already holding the original content of R1. Now R1 content we have incremented. Next is Z out. From Z register where the operand will go? Whether it will go to MAR? No, not at all. MAR is already having the address from where the read operation need to, done, need to do. Need to be done. Sorry. Then from Z register the content will go to where? It will go to R1 because R1 will be modified ultimately. So R1 in. This much only will perform and then we'll give the WMFC. We'll wait for our data to come from memory and then MDR out. So data has come from memory. So it we will transfer it into Y register because one more input is yet to be provided. So next step I'll write R2 out and then select Y. So R2 out means it is there on the bus. So it is available on the B input. Previous input is here. So select Y. What is the operation? Multiplication. Then result will be in Z register. Done. After that, what I will do? Z out means the result is ready. Now give it to which register? R2. So R2 in. And then my all operations are done. So next last one is end. So this is all about auto increment addressing mode. Here, please remember the key points are whenever you are performing increment or decrement, that time please do not go to memory. Only ALU is required. To get the operand, that time only go to memory and get the operand and perform the operation requested. So this is all about these uh, two addressing modes control sequence. And if you are getting from my explanations, then please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.